Hi everybody, good afternoon and happy Earth Day. I hope you're all doing really well and that you're able to get outside some today, go for a walk or at least do some planting or maybe spending a little time with your plants today. Um, today is also uh, what we have dubbed my cat's birthday or our cat's birthday. Um, so we're, I don't know, not doing anything really for that at the moment, but maybe we'll order him a little present or we were talking about doing those cat backpacks. If you've seen where people go on hikes and or walks around the neighborhood uh, with a cat in a backpack, thinking about trying that, <laughs> that could be pretty cool. Um, okay, so today I wanted to update you. Most or all of this is in the announcement that came out on Monday. So, you know, check that out. You've got it written down. So I'm going to be looking at some of my notes here to make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, first of all, writing assignment three, you should be uh, finished up with that and hopefully you've submitted that. Uh, if you have any last minute questions or you really need help with it, something's not quite right with it, let me know. Uh, I wanted to focus a lot more on writing assignment three on the research paper than the very last assignment because the last assignment is just a personal reflection. It should be pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, some people find it kind of boring uh, or maybe at first difficult because you have to reflect on the semester that you've had and just hit a bunch of different points about your semester and that can be it can be kind of rough to self-reflect um so self-reflecting not only on what's happened to you but maybe how you've handled different things as well so now that writing assignment three is over we're gonna go over writing assignment four um so writing assignment four the prompt is under uh, the writing assignment tab under Blackboard with all the other prompts. And because writing assignment four is very personal, it's very individual, I don't like to give uh, student examples from that. Um, I just prefer not to. So if you have questions or you really want to meet about it, I'm fine to set up a Zoom meeting and chat with you that way. Uh, we can do that if needed. Uh, really, you just follow the prompt and the bullet points there, which I'll go over. Um, let's do that right now. And hopefully, some, our computer is really slow. Uh, we have also been having some internet problems. I think we need a new router and hopefully that will fix it, but we haven't, haven't done that yet. Um, not sure how we're going to do that with all the virus stuff going on this has been it's been a weird time um it it still kind of feels strange doing uh not just work from home like class planning or whatever but chatting with you this way and some of you i've already talked with over zoom or we've been emailing back and forth quite a bit uh, i really appreciate that and just staying in touch with you all. All right, so writing assignment four is a personal reflection and the assignment details on that are the same as all the other assignments. So it's 1,250 minimum word count, but I, I'm i gonna be pretty lax on that, honestly. Um, write what fits, like write what you can about each bullet point that we go over, but I'm not super strict on that minimum word count. Uh, it's 20% of your total grade and the font Times New Roman 12 point double spaced, same as all the others. So for this assignment, um, I've had to cut out some things like the process work that we usually do. I am not going to have any process work due for this one. So you, I'm gonna assume that you're doing that on your own, that you're gonna brainstorm, you're gonna come up with an outline and a draft, and then you'll submit the final thing. If you want to send me something, I will look over it, 
but I'm not, I'm not making you turn those things in for points. And I'm going with, if you turn in writing assignment four, if you just get that done and submit the final, then um, along with that, you're earning the points for the process work. So just turn in the final writing assignment four and you will get the points for the process work, even though we're not turning that in, okay? Um, and here it says, make sure you attend class and participate. So usually with this assignment, I like to have some group things going on. Uh, I, I tried a little bit with discussion boards that didn't seem to, to really click. So I'm just going to suggest if you're able to chat with uh, a friend or family member about your semester or hopefully you are in touch with somebody that you were in class with um, chat with them and you know if you need me that's fine too uh, but I've got some bullet points here and I want you to look at all of those bullet points, answer all of those. It's not a pick one or pick two sort of thing. It's address all of these. That makes reaching the word limit a lot easier. So the first one is where you were at the start of the semester, take this to mean what you want. So where you were at the start of the semester, that could be maybe geographically where you were, like maybe you were living somewhere different than you are now. Um, that might be the case for a lot of people with the coronavirus stuff going on. Um, but where you were at the start of the semester could be geographically, it could be academically, um, maybe where you were coming out of high school or coming from a job or the military, wherever you were at the beginning or just before this, or it could be emotionally, mindset wise, any of that stuff. So very broad and you can include whatever you want in that. Uh, the second bullet point, the transition to college. So everybody has a different experience and so your answer is going to be your own, really. It's very tailored to you. So some of you are coming straight out of high school. Some of you may still be in high school. And that transition between high school and college is maybe something you're going through now or something that uh, is fresh in your mind. If you've been at Columbus State for a little longer, you can still talk about that transition to college. You could also talk about the transition uh, year to year or semesters to semester. So maybe this is your second or third semester and you wanna talk about that. Within that, you can also talk about all of these transitions that are happening for us now with the schedule, the lifestyle that we've all had to adjust to, that is a transition too. So if you want to include like that transition from like normal face-to-face -face classes to coronavirus times, that's kind of what I've been calling it whenever I write something like, I don't know, I was writing on my calendar, like coronavirus times. Um, yeah, so you can write about that transition as well. Uh, the third point I have here is classes. So I really would like you to touch on your classes a little bit. Like what have you learned from specific courses? If like you can talk about any class that you have now. So like maybe you took a psychology class and there was something interesting that came from that that helped you understand yourself or other people better or your community better. You can talk about that. Uh, if you had a, a rough time in a class, I'm fine with you being honest about that and saying that it was difficult and, and vaguely why it was difficult. Uh, I really do not want any teacher bashing. So um, I would prefer to not have names of professors or names of instructors in the paper uh, for your other classes. Um, but, you know, 
chat about, <laughs> be honest about your experience. Um, and maybe you learn like how to deal with something difficult that came up. Then I want you to talk about English 1100 in particular. So if you've got a lot of space still in your paper, a lot of words to meet, you can go over each writing assignment if you'd like. You can talk about uh, the memoir and it could be maybe if you liked it or disliked it, what you liked or what you learned or didn't like. Uh, writing assignment to the response paper, you can chat about that. Uh, and then writing assignment three, the research paper, you can talk about the research process. And again, that's something that we started doing while we were still meeting in class at the very beginning of the research paper. And then it kind of switched. Um, so you let me know how that was. Um, maybe that was really challenging for you to really be on your own. Um, I really like to have more in-class time with the research paper, but that's, that's what we're working with. Um, do you think you've changed as a writer or a critical thinker? Like maybe recognizing why you think or act or believe the way that you do. You could apply that to others as well. Maybe learned about why other people are the way they that they are. Uh, and has your writing process changed? So sometimes people realize that brainstorming or an outline was really helpful and maybe it's not something they did before and now they're gonna incorporate it through all of their classes that they have to write for. Like every paper, they're gonna do that. So let me know. Uh, and then personal landmarks is the last bullet point here. Uh, have you learned a valuable lesson this semester, such as asking for help when you need it, something with time management? Have you had significant life changes happen outside of school, such as a landmark age, moving, having kids, etc.? cetera? Um, again, there's a good place to talk about the coronavirus and how you're handling all of these life changes. Um, you will end up with a common thread, like a thesis statement throughout all of this. So maybe the major theme just ends up being, I changed in these three ways. Maybe it's, I became more independent this semester because the coronavirus forced me to. Um, I had to do an outline on my own. Um, I had to do math homework on my own, like whatever it is. So you'll have a common thread through that. And so in your conclusion, I would suggest really having the personal landmarks either be your conclusion and add, add some things in there, uh, or if you want to have something else after to sum it up, you can. But I think in the personal landmark, section is a good place to wrap up. So that's writing assignment four. Uh, if you have any questions at all or you're struggling at all with this, please let me know. Um, let me know through email and like I said, I can set something up through Zoom for us or we can email back and forth. If it's relevant to everybody, I can like better help you by putting up a uh, Blackboard announcement or something. So let me know uh, if you need any help. Like I said, typically this is pretty straightforward. Um, it's, it's not a difficult assignment. You don't have to do any research for it at all. Um, if you would like to include any kind of narrative technique for the introduction, you could give Kind of a mini memoir, mini narrative, maybe about your your first day at Columbus State or the moment you had like a struggle that you got through or something something else. So that's that's up to you. Uh, if you'd like to include any pictures, I suppose you could. I don't really have anything in mind for that. Uh, typically, people just follow the bullet points and. 
that's it. So that's writing assignment four. I hope it goes well and is really easy. Um, I mentioned some people do struggle with it just because you do have to reflect on what the semester was like uh, for you. Um, I know that a lot of people have had big life changes. Uh, you have the power as an author to write what you want. So if you're not comfortable addressing a specific part of your life that affected your schoolwork, so it all, our, everything in our lives affects everything else, but uh, you don't have to write about it, okay? It's totally up to you what you wanna include. All right, so <laughs> writing assignment four, the one that we just talked about, the personal reflection, is due Friday, May 1st. So that is next Friday. So you have over a week to work on this assignment, or if you're still finishing up writing assignment three, that's okay. Uh, and then you can move on to this and get this done in a few days. Um, I'm still taking that 48 hour grace period. So writing assignment four is due on the first, but it's okay if it doesn't get in until the third. So that's, that's like the very latest, all right? The third of May is the latest you can turn that in. Okay. We will have a final that I will uh, put up as an announcement with some videos. So uh, I'll talk more about the final next Monday, but just know that the final, it's, it is not like, uh, it, it's not another essay. It is not an exam. Um, it's a goal setting worksheet. So I'll have some videos for you to watch about goal setting. And then you'll write down three smart goals. So very specific goals. Um, they could be academic, personal, career driven, uh, financial, like whatever. So our final is I uh, email you through Blackboard announcement, a document and some videos. You watch the videos, learn about SMART goals, and then write down your goals, and that's it. So I will post more information about that next week, and I can go through a video about that as well. Um, but it's really simple, straightforward, just kind of wrapping things up and hopefully just reflecting on your experience this semester. Okay, I think that's all I have. Yeah, that's it. So please let me know if you have questions. Um, also let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to go over. If, because we've missed out on a lot of in-class stuff. Um, but if you have any questions about writing for, you know, any type of genre, any type of class, whatever, um, just stu stuff that you would like me to go over that you're interested in, um, please let me know. And I will be sure to include that over the rest of our semester. So thank you for watching. I do miss you all. I think about you all. I hope that you're having an all right time with, uh, I was going to say quarantine, but I don't know if it's technically everybody's in quarantine, but I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy life. <laughs> all right. Bye.